Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox and take a close-up look at the Nike 3X Metcon 2 training shoes. So let's just take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a pair of Nike 3X Metcon 2 training shoes, and this pair is in a UK size 8 or US size 9, and in a cool grey, wolf grey, black, pure platinum colourway. It's also available in very many other colourways, as well as sizes. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by of course flipping up the box lid to reveal the contents inside. So let's peel back the wrapping paper to reveal the pair of Nike 3X Metcon 2 training shoes in the cool grey, wolf grey, black, pure platinum colourway. And of course this pair is in a UK size 8 or US size 9. Let's pop the left foot side out from the box and take a look at it. So as you can see, it has a very light coloured colourway in a mostly grey and white colour theme. So I've unboxed a pair of 3X Metcon 2s recently, not, or not too long ago, and that one was in the majority red colour. This time around, the majority colour is grey. So once again, has a relatively light weight design and of course it's designed with all round training in mind with some running as well so taking a close up look from the front so as you can see in the toe area there is the black extended outsole that extends slightly above towards the upper fabric and you can see the mesh and the Nike swoosh towards or above the forefoot area and moving up along the shoe and you can see the Metcon branding in a vertical alignment along the tongue of the shoe and taking a look inside. So it does have a partial inner sleeve and around the collar it does have ample padding which is nice and mostly firm around the ankle and there is padding around the heel as well and you can see it does have a nice heel counter here which is slightly flexible but you can see that it does provide an extra support area with the heel counter wrapping around the padding or inner sleeve of the shoe. And just taking a look, you can see that there is a midfoot cage as well to provide some lockdown or stability. And giving you a close look there, and you can see. There are very many positions to lace through to provide the much needed stability and lockdown should you want to do some running or sprinting. And you can see that dimpled pattern on the mesh fabric upper cover 
of the shoe. And of course, just taking a look on the outsole, on the underside of the shoe, you can see that it does have a very interesting design and the black areas provide, giving you a look so you can see the black areas does protrude beyond the overall surface of the outsole. Just giving you a look this way perhaps so you can see it does provide additional or extended wear beyond the white or plain light colored surfaces of the shoe. So just running my fingers along so the black areas appear to be rubber like if not rubber providing good level of traction as you can see it does have these very very micro fine grooves or lines in them compared to the much smoother and slicker light colored areas of the sole and just flexing to give you a look in terms of the flexibility or oh, four foot stiffness right there. So pretty flexible as you can see with all these grooves or sipes. If you're familiar with tire terminology right there, providing plenty of flex as you can see it does have a very block-like type of structure for the outsole design right there. So giving you a look there, right there. And in terms of the twist, so you can see, does provide ample movement. Hence, the midfoot cage is so very important to provide you that bit of assurance when it comes to stability and lockdown. So nice all round look. And of course it does have a foam midsole as well to provide some cushioning and of course rebound as well. So a relatively lightweight pair of training shoes, the Nike 3X Metcon 2. And this one, of course, as I mentioned earlier, is in the cool gray, wolf gray, black, pure platinum colorway. And just taking out the stuffing on the inside and taking a look to see what we can find as best we can, just taking a peek on the inside of this shoe. You can see the design there, that partial inner sleeve, and of course, the midfoot area with the cage providing that much needed lockdown or fitted security and feel. Okay, so now let's take a look at the right foot side, so lifting the right foot side up from the box. I'm just going to set the box on the left hand side of the frame and making some minor adjustments as always, keeping it in view but out of the way from the foreground. So we have a nice clear view of what the right foot side looks or how it looks right here so once again you can see the Nike free 
branding, which is raised from the extended heel area. Of course, there is a heel tab there. And once again, just showing you the heel counter there, providing a good level of support and stability since it does extend quite a fair bit towards and almost near the ankle area. And right there, just gonna tuck in the laces just to neaten things up slightly. So there we go. So right there, nice good look at the right foot side of the Nike 3X Metcon 2. And now let's take a look at both of them side by side. So you have a more complete view of the pair of training shoes. And let's just turn it around so you have a better aspect and overall perspective. And once again, taking a look at the very unique looking design of the sole of this pair of training shoes. So that's the Nike 3X Metcon 2 in the cool grey, wolf grey, black, pure platinum colorway. Thanks for watching and happy training!